Hi, I've got an answer for uh, somebody named Janine who submitted a question to us basically asking about getting more than four gigabytes of RAM recognizable by Windows. Now she says she's using Windows XP Pro 32-bit. Uh, she's got a pretty modern motherboard, an ASUS A8N-SLI. She's using an AMD 64 dual core. So it's a pretty modern system, but she can't get it to see more than two gigabytes of RAM. Unfortunately, the answer is that this is something that's built right into Windows 32-bit. It cannot address more than, 30, than uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM. Now, there is something that I have found called the, three, uh, the 3G uh, switch. It's something that can be put on the boot.any file of Windows and can, and can theoretically make it address up to 3 gigabytes of, uh, of memory. However, it can be a little problematic from what I've been reading about it. So I, I really wouldn't recommend getting into it for, for many reasons. Also, the, re, the way that software has been programmed uh, for the longest time, the 2 gigabyte cap for 32-bit really is the cap. So you say that you've, you, want, you have 4 gigabytes of RAM in there. You have 4 1 gigabyte sticks in the machine. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use two of them. That's just the way the 32-bit is. Now, you said you can't get Windows XP Pro 64 to install. I'm not exactly sure why. You didn't really give any information on that. However, uh, for other people watching, the 2-gigabyte two, two cap for Windows XP 32-bit is the cap. 2 gigabytes is just the max that Windows will be capable of using without... You know, some people might have some uh, hacks that they might put out on the internet on how they've gotten it to address more than that using the switch but it's just not stable enough I really wouldn't recommend it so uh, that is my answer for Janine